Yes, people, how's it going? A new day, a new country. We are in Athens, in Greece. And it's not been the best of starts, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It's been a very, very bad start. So, we arrived here last night, and we got here about 9 p.m. local time. And the uh, we decided to take the metro to our apartment that we're staying in. Um, because it was a fairly straightforward journey. However, my wife uh, had my phone in her pocket. Tammy had her phone in her pocket and um, in her, it, it, like a bum bag with a zip and uh, it was pickpocketed from us, straightforward. There's no covering out, we got pickpocketed day one within about an hour. And I had to go around canceling all my bank cards, Cancelling everything that was on that phone that was of any value to this person. I had to lock it remotely So I managed to do that, but As you can imagine it's left a bit of a sour taste in our mouths with Athens in general um, But we're not going to judge a whole entire city on the actions of one Disgraceful person So if you're out there, hope you enjoy my phone um, Even though you probably can't get into it and uh, It is what it is so the one different thing is that we are staying in a slightly different place to what we usually stay in. We'll give you a little tour of the apartment, maybe later, but uh, let's go and have a look at our neighborhood. So there we go. We don't do things glitz and glamour here. So yeah, as you can see, we've chosen somewhere quite delightful. <laughs> a nice little area we're staying in. Um, when we first arrived, there were loads of people. Uh, there were uh, people of disrepute, I guess you could say, from various different uh, backgrounds. Uh, I can't say the things they do on YouTube, obviously, but you can, I'll leave that up to you to imagine what kind of people were hanging around on the streets. So the walk here was quite dangerous. We had been robbed at this point already. Um, so we're a little bit on edge, and then we're walking down the covered in graffiti, broken buildings. Now, like most places, I do want to try and give an honest, you know, review of the of the city. So I'm not just going to walk around showing you all the beautiful bits. I will show you everything, and whether whether you like that or not, that is what it is. Every every city has its good and its bad. People of Greece, I still love you all. You're still great people. This is, that's, that's what made, has made this for me. It's not made it as bad. The people of Greece are so warm and so friendly and so loving and so kind. Um, I've enjoyed the people that I've met so far, <laughs> but yeah, sometimes you get a negative experience, but you've just got to roll with it. You just got to keep going, but let's get out there. Let's go and explore. Let's see what Athens has to offer. All right, people, so we're out and about and we're ready to, uh, to explore and uh, let's have a closer look. So we're up there somewhere, and uh, yeah, so we've been to Greece before actually. We went to, uh, to Kos, I think we've mentioned that a few times before on the channel. I was quite lucky actually, as I was walking down here, I tripped over that slab. So uh, it would have been a, uh, not only my phone got robbed, it would have been uh, potentially a broken foot. So <laughs> got spared that one. So uh, yeah. It's unfortunate, but I think currently Greece is the one country where we've had negative experiences so far. But we ain't going to let that shroud our judgment. You know, at the end of the day, every country has its good and its bad. You know, and you can't mark an entire country or a city for that matter with the, uh, the actions of a single person. You can't let that be the, the judgment call you make. Now, as you know, on Team McGrath, we love the rural side streets, the back alleys. And uh, if you want to know what they look like in Greece, in Athens, then here we go. So again, people, I'm not going to try and paint an overly positive light because I think that's unfair. As I always say, it's unjust to try and show the beauty and not the, uh, the reality. Um, but, it's got to watch your foot as well. So many places you can trip, but um, we're going to get into the heart of it and see what it's got at least, and, uh, and try and get both sides of the coin. But uh, yeah, so far so good. 
let's keep going well it didn't take long I've got to go back to the apartment already it started raining hasn't it how is it we always get rain time I've no idea it didn't even forecast it so. it weren't even on the forecast when we got rain so we've got to go back to the apartment now and uh, yeah the roads here are crazy honestly like uh, oh blimey <laughs> you lost and you're losing me now uh, let me just step into the light there you go <laughs> so uh, the roads are quite interesting it's like a kind of free-for-all I just I literally saw a kid and a mum cross the street and this car was inches away from them <laughs> madness but yeah man let's do this So that's where we're staying if you wonder, I think it's pronounced Keramikosh, something like that, Keramikosh, Keramiko, <laughs> I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but uh, what are your thoughts so far Tam? Well, <laughs> I'm not like She's not a fan guys, <laughs> not a fan at all. There we go people, that's where we got jacked, down in the metro, so got to be extra vigilant. High travel product. Athens area. 24 hours. So if you're curious guys, it's four euros ten for a 24 hour trip in Athens. So yeah, you get a print, uh, ticket printed out and you use that and Tammy can look after that for me. <laughs> so there you go, it's just up there where we realise what happened. So basically, Tammy, um, she was like, hang on, I don't remember my bag being unzipped. And uh, she was like, and where's your phone? Is it in your pocket? I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> so where do we need to be? We need to be at... Monasteraki. Yeah, Monasteraki. So we're at uh, Keramikos. We need to be at Monasteraki. I apologise if I butcher in your beautiful language, Greece. I've been learning Greek actually. But it's a very difficult language. <laughs> okay. Alright, so we've arrived, and this is a bit more akin to the Greece that I kind of come to know from uh, what I've been looking at and looking at on YouTube and stuff so obviously ancient ruins but the old Acropolis there and uh, traditional streets so in the same way as Bosnia it's very much a kind of uh, uh, what do you call it like a like a contrast like a stark contrast between areas so of course uh, in Bosnia there were areas which were really, uh, really beautiful, but then equally areas that were very, uh, very worn down. So, uh, very similar to that. Another city filled to the brim with cats. Hello, kitty. I can't stop a stroking because uh, the streets are quite crowded. So, uh, if I start trying to stroke a cat, then uh, it might, uh, might block everybody. And I don't want to be one of them tourists. Mm, very nice. Look at that. So yeah, we don't really have a plan, to be honest. We're just gonna kind of walk around and explore um, and uh, see what Greece has to offer. And of course, uh, we're gonna try and capture both sides of it, as, as I mentioned. So uh, we'll capture the good and the bad, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and all that jazz. But uh, yeah, man, it's, 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 it's nice. It's very nice to look at. Savakanda. Small ruins. And uh, wow, look at that into the distance. Very nice. So, this is a place you can go the archaeological site and museum of ancient Agora. It's a uh, 10 euro entry fee or 5 euros uh, on between the 1st of November and the 31st of March. You also get a package for 30 euros, but to be honest, I've got no plans to pay to get into uh, to that. 
I, uh, I'd rather kind of just do some on foot exploration around the city and uh, obviously we can revel in the uh, the beauty from afar <laughs> <laughs> all right so we're going now to find some food um, we've had a little look around but we kind of we're acutely aware that we're in the tourist area so uh, <laughs> there was a Yiros which is like a uh, what is it it's like a it's like a I guess in England it'd be like a kebab <laughs> but it's a lot tastier than a kebab <laughs> It's a Yidos, G-Y-R-O-S. I think that's how you pronounce it, Yidos. Do correct me if I'm saying that wrong. And uh, we're going to have a Cotopolo Yidos, uh, which is chicken Yidos. You've also got Herino Yidos, which is pork, I believe. Again, I do apologise if I'm butchering your pronunciation and language. Greek is not my strongest language, but I have been trying to learn. Uh, let's see, what do we know so far? So we've got Galimira, which is good morning, Galispira. Good afternoon and good evening. The thing with Kalispira is that you can say, sorry, Kalimira, you can say that like pretty much all day until it starts getting dark. And then you've got to say uh, Kalispira, which is like good evening. Or you can say Yasu, which is hello, or Yasas, which is like a bit more formal, a bit more polite. You'd kind of say that to like an elder or something, or someone in like, like a more respectful place. Like if you're in the workplace or something, maybe say yes, Yasas, I guess. Um, and uh, what else is there? Boro, boro na echo. That means like, can I have? Um, boro na privoso mi carta. That means like, can we can we pay my card? Uh, Signo mi. That means sorry, I think. And then you've got parakalo, which means a few things. That means you're welcome and, and please, yeah. So that has a few meanings. Ah, nice. Some ruins. See, you'd have to pay. You'd have to pay all the time. Sorry if you're losing me a little bit here. We're just going into a slightly shaded area, but it's a bit of alright, isn't it? So Greece is. It's beautiful. I'm not sure if it's part of the excavation. If it is, we may have to just pay for it, Sam. So let's have a look. The Keramikos of ancient Athens. Karamekos is one of the largest districts of ancient Athens. It is on the northwest fringes of the city, as the name suggests. Here we have established potters, Karam Yish, who produced the famous Attic, Attic vases. Attic. There you go, that's what it would have looked like. And this is what it looks like now. Careful, Tam. <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, they probably used to sit on these and observe watch and enjoy let's go and have a closer look people and there we go ancient ruins a beautiful monastery in the back so don't let this video make you think that greece is not a pleasant place to come and visit it is it's, it's a lovely place but you just have to be diligent and on guard in the same way you have to be everywhere and unfortunately me and Tommy we've traveled many times now and we kind of let our guard down I guess we kind of you know because we're quite comfortable traveling we uh we we there was a there was a, a weakness in our uh, in our plan but um the idea is to go and get some food continue exploring the city and again we're going to show you both sides um we always do that on team McGrath we don't just show you the good we show you both sides of the coin and we let you make your mind up as to whether or not you want to come here and visit but yeah this is a bit more like it isn't it this is the Greece that uh, we all kind of uh, tend to think of when we think about coming to Greece so this is pretty cool we've got a little flea market here various things on sale like rings and stuff <laughs> And some trinkets and coins and more trinkets bags what else have we got more coins bags yeah cheeky little flea market is walking around
All right, so it was quite an interesting, I wouldn't say a scam, but uh, a sleight of hand, I guess you could say. Uh, this gentleman, very nice guy to be fair, came up to us and he was like, oh, where are you guys from, blah, blah, blah. And he had these like wristbands and uh, he was like, he was like, you got any money? And I was like, nah, and he started putting the wristband over Tammy and one of me. And we just started, like, this one, there you go. It's quite nice. When we just started walking off, we we're like, yeah, all right, bruv, cheers. Have a good one. And to be fair to him, he was like, I tell you what, I'll take back one yes, and uh, I'll, uh, and you, your wife can keep the other for free. So in the end, we thought, well, he's a, he's, a, he's a relatively honest guy in comparison to many other people. So we were sending him a few pennies. So we took out some change and we bought a new magnet. You got it, Sam? Look, and it comes in a nice little bag. There you go. Sorry, I just had to undo that. So there's the magnet. So another one for the collection. Yeah. Signal me. All right, so still on the hunt for the Yudos. Um, We've been looking around, but unfortunately we're on the tourist trail. So they're asking for like 11 euros 50 for a portion of Yudos. So I did a bit of research and it turns out we can buy Yudos for like 450 if we just leave the tourist area. So we've done that now, we're off the beaten trail and we're gonna go and find ourselves a nice plate of Yudos because we're very hungry. There we go, people. So we've got souvlaki. So I'm probably gonna have a souvlaki pizza. Yes, souvlaki, souvlaki poquitos. Very nice. Um, Borona Echo in a um, Cotopolo souvlaki. Nice. Yeah, look at this, the, uh, the lady bought a nice thing extra for us. Very nice. The, uh, the, the hospitality here is incredible. Everyone is so hospitable. And the food is just absolutely amazing. Nostimo <laughs> is no ne. Ochi. 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 Okay. No. And then ne is yes. Yes. Yeah. Ne, it's very confusing because no is <laughs> no in England, but yeah, okay, very very confusing. Very, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it's little bit. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, Evaristo. Thank you, Evaristo. Me. Ah, Evaristo. Evaristo. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm greedy. Kalisumira, Kalisumira. There you go, people. There's the warmth and kindness of the uh, of the Greek people, right on display for you. So friendly, so warm, so kind. Do not let our experience of being pickpocketed deter you, but also be very cautious. So, what's the plan now? Well, we've eaten. How long did it take us to get food? Like three hours? Yeah, it was like three hours to find somewhere. We're very picky when it comes to finding somewhere to eat because we won't go and eat somewhere on the tourist trail. We prefer authentic and we prefer to help out smaller businesses and uh, we'll put the name of that cafe on the screen now but it came up to 14 euros 50 yeah. and that was for two souvlaki euros uh, so which is chicken I should have got pork shouldn't I and then we could have shared um, and that's basically like a pita bread but it's not pita bread that you get in the UK actually the pita bread we get in the UK is uh, it's quite quite tough isn't it mm. Whereas the pita bread they get here is very soft okay. and very spongy, it's very very nice. Um, and then it's got chips in it, chicken which has been like finely sliced from a uh, from a spit. And then it had like a mustard mayonnaise kind of dressing, mm. and then salad, and it's very filling that's and very that's tasty. That's dressing, that's the sauce is brilliant. Yeah, usually I wouldn't think of that mustard mayo to go with yeah, it, but it. but it did go well. So uh, yeah, the plan is now is to try and get up the Acropolis or try and get near to it 
before uh, we would lose daylight as you can see it's getting a little bit darker so uh, yeah thought so far Tam mm. yeah still takes some more convincing yeah I think it's, it's a strange one because like the uh, the hospitality and the warmth of the people has been like uh, has been second to none but uh, equally oh we've just eaten my friend but thank you we'll come maybe later after 6 30 oh perfect they've had easter my friend they've had easter <laughs> so yeah everyone's very friendly and uh yeah it's uh a very nice relaxed culture so it's a strange one for me personally i mean it was my phone that was stolen but i'm a little bit a little bit more forgiving <laughs> i guess i think uh, it's put you a little bit on edge hasn't it understandably because you feel like you have to guard your possessions quite clear carefully Oh, it, was me that got it was you that got pickpocketed. It was you that got pickpocketed, but it was my phone that got stolken. It was a straight strange one. It's the worst experience of my life, and I wouldn't want anyone to go through it. It's, it's horrible. I just can't, just can't shake it. It's yeah. It's it's a really affected you, hasn't it? But I think we just we keep going with each day. Hopefully, the person who did that can, you know, fix their ways one day and, and not do that and find honest work. And I believe everyone can change. And has the opportunity to change so yeah i forgive them <laughs> i'm i'm annoyed but you know there could be reasons why they're doing what they're doing they could have had to do it because they were broke and need money they could have done it because you know they're being forced by someone else to do it for them yeah you can't always question the yeah you know, sometimes you've got to question the motive as opposed to just seeing the crime itself i mean it's crime well, crime is bad but yeah, but I, I'm a forgiving person, so I forgive. Ah, some traditional helmets. Yeah, very, very cheap as well. You break, you pay. That's a, that's, that's fair. That's a fair deal. <laughs> yeah, you got some really nice stuff. Well priced as well. Fifteen euros for that scarf. I better keep Tammy away from that because uh, she does like her scarves. At some point, I think you had what thirty-two, thirty-two. But yeah, we're going to try and make our way to the Acropolis now and uh, have a closer look. Now the old friends. Hello friend. Hello. Hello. Oh, friendly cat. Okay, so the Acropolis is unfortunately off uh, off 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 the cards because you've got to pay to get in it. Uh, but there it is. If you're curious. And uh, if you're curious as to how much it costs. And uh, yeah, well, it depends when you go really, but you can get an entrance ticket between November and March for 10. Otherwise, it's 20. So if it's you and your partner or kids, just factor that in. We uh, we could afford to go in there, but to be honest, uh, we're quite happy to spectate it from the outside. Um, we're not too precious about going in there. So uh, yeah, we won't. We'll, uh, we'll uh, observe its beauty from afar. It's uh, sometimes the best way to do it. Okay, so we're now going to a local brewery or a little beer hall, and we're going to go and get ourselves a traditional Greek beer, and we're going to sit down and uh, nurse a beer for a little bit. But there you go, the Acropolis there off into the distance. So very nice. Got some mountains out. I don't know if you can quite make them out, but no, it's too too sunny a day. But running down this little little street here and. Uh, yeah, we're going to go and try some Greek beer. I do try to try beer in each of the places we go. Um, it's one of my little kind of town collects fridge magnets and I try a local beer. beer. I'm not a big beer drinker either, really. I just, uh, I'm always curious. Um, one of my favourite beers actually has been probably Kalavachko from uh, Croatia. That was very nice. Mostasko as well. That's quite nice from Bosnia. So uh, we're going to see what Greek beer is like and uh, go and give our thoughts. Okay, so we made it come to a place called Strange Brew. Very, very nice. Very, 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 very cool place. And uh, we've got two beers. This is quite a dark beer. It's got the, uh, let me try and taste it. It's hard to describe, it's like, it's, always, it's quite bitter, but it's almost chocolatey. And then we've got some of these pretzels, which are very nice. And then this one is quite fruity, actually. It's, it's like mango almost. 
But yeah, very good, worth the walk. Um, we're off the beaten trail, as you can see. So, uh, found this, there you go. Strange brew, you can see it there. So, yeah, off the beaten trail, but it's well worth it. Come and give it a visit. Really nice owner as well. Really cool guy, so, yeah. So there we go, day one in Athens. What did you reckon, Sam? Beautiful, nice um, views and everything, but I don't know. Not sold. It's a tough one. Like, you have to pay to get into everything, which we completely understand, by the way. Like, yeah. if you want to preserve history, you've got to find a way to make money to do that. And obviously, maybe the government won't necessarily put the money forward to do that every time. So, donations from the public or payments from the public too, to go and view these these monuments are justified. But I don't know, 20 euros, this, if you think about it, we had two euros, a green tea, and like an orange juice, and a little plate of like goodies as well for 14.50. Whereas we're gonna walk up there, and admittedly it probably would be very beautiful, and one of those once in a lifetime things as well, but equally, it's not something where to like big on yeah so seven so, so that uh, so, um, 20 euros comes up to like 17 pound 22 what's that in dollars by the way no no just click just <laughs> just click that no go back sorry she's not very good at technology people <laughs> click where it says pound sterling and then find you at us dollars so yeah we'll find out how much that is in dollars for you but um we're yeah as i say we're it's a, it's a tough one because obviously it's it's a great disparity like in the in the places so it's 21 92 dollars to uh, or twenty one dollars ninety two cents to come here um, and visit the Acropolis, which I don't know if you can see. It's just behind me, just up there. And you got to take a nice little walk to get there. But uh, yeah, obviously in the UK, museums are free. Our history is free, but there's not been one uh, archaeological place that's free. You can pay thirty euros and get a package, I believe, but that'd be sixty euros, which I'm not sure how much that is in pounds, but that would be. Uh, a pretty significant chunk of our budget and to be honest the budget really that we so we travel quite cheaply we tend to buy a fridge magnet and a bit of food and drinks and stuff we'll probably even cook from our apartment tonight um because uh, we've got an airbnb so 60 euros is 51 pounds and 67 pence and in dollars that is we're getting there. There we go. That is sixty six sixty five dollars seventy five cents. So if you and two, you and another person, wanted to go and visit the Acropolis, all, all of the um, all of the things around here, you'd be looking at around about sixty five dollars, or what was it, fifty something pound. <laughs> so uh, just just keep that in mind. So you can't just d dive into these places. You can't just walk in. You have to pay. So obviously, if you're not budgeting for that do bear that in mind but uh first thoughts for me it's it's a very beautiful country a very beautiful city sorry um but it's got it's got a lot of heart and a lot of soul and a lot of uh, character but also a lot of uh a lot of very kind of run down areas as well so uh a lot like england really we've got a lot of beauty but also equally run down areas but our government more or less yeah can only put its money so far i guess but um yeah day one greece good or Athens good uh, we enjoyed it the food was good the people have been fantastic got to try a little bit of Greek and uh, we're probably gonna round this up by doing a bit more walking around and seeing what there is and then probably getting some groceries going home and cooking and then I'll edit this video and you'll be watching this and yeah we'll be moving on to our next adventure so do keep your eyes peeled because there's a new adventure coming we are due to leave Greece soon um to go to another country so keep your eyes peeled for that um and most of all we really appreciate taking the time to watch our video so from both of us take care have a great day and we'll see you soon catch you on the flip side